joining us. Yes, Mrs. Radway. I see you finally found our horses. Good day to you, Mrs. Radway. Kyle. Yeah, I found them grazing over near Ed Freeport's place. I didn't think they were stolen. Joanna, they had half the county arrested for wrestling. Kyle didn't even know they were missing. I'd say an animal that size is a difficult thing to lose sight of, wouldn't you, Marshal? Well, not if you're herding 30 or 40 of them. Well, oh, thank you, Marshal. Joanna, you should come out to the trail with me. I'm sure the horses would stay in line. Kyle, maybe you better secure that corral. Your tools are in the loft. Just get into it, dear. Sometimes I think the good Lord was napping when he made that man. You're like two cats in a sack. I don't know how he tolerates. How he tolerates. <laughs> oh, Kyle. He's still breathing. Let's get him to Marie's. to consider myself a charitable woman, but Louis Gilbert is one man I'd like to see the back of. The bullets will be 50 cents. You can have the apple for free. You may as well finish it. Nobody else will want it now. What is it about Gilbert that you dislike so much? Yes. What is it, Mrs. Dumont? Corporal? I trust you had the chance to review the documents I left the other day? I have indeed. And I must say, I find them hard to believe. If you have any questions regarding their legitimacy, you may send them to any barrister in the country. What are you talking about? Mr. Gilbert was an associate of the Devillion brothers. They sold me 60% of this business. I am now the store's controlling partner. Could I see the papers? Certainly. But I assure you they are, how do you say, on the up and up. He'll sleep for a couple of hours. Yeah, well, that'll give him some rest from that wife of his, won't it? <laughs> Can you stay with him? I'm going to talk to Joanna. Uh, well, Marie, I, uh... Please? Um... Yeah, what do you want me to do here? He's just sleeping. All right. If something goes wrong, just fire your gun. All right. I'm surprised this business is still running. Why haven't you collected on these? 
I usually wait until after a roundup to collect what is in arrears. What you usually did is of no interest to me. I want to know exactly how much is owed to the store by morning. But I can't. But nothing. I am the majority owner. What is this? It's from Jack Craddock. He pays me when he can afford to. I suppose I can agree with that. Being a friend to the law is usually a good idea. How could this happen? You said he was all right. I don't know. You don't know? I'm sorry. My husband is dead and you're sorry. Keep away from me. God is my witness. You can pay for this. Yes? Marie, it's me. Come in, Clay. I'm sorry. Your sympathy should go to Mrs. Rodway. I know how you feel when a patient doesn't pull through. I know where my sympathies lie. I have to put it behind me. But he shouldn't have died. He had a minor concussion and a broken arm. He shouldn't have died. And you think it's your fault? No. But Joanna Radway does. I'll be all right, Clive. I appreciate you coming by. See you in the morning. There was nothing wrong with him, Clive. I could have set that arm myself. Marie doing? More upset than she's letting on. Between this and what's happening at the store, she got a lot on her mind. Mr. Gilbert, to what do we owe the pleasure? I'm here to inform you that I am filing charges against Marie Dumont. She is responsible for the death of Mr. Kyle Radway. Look, uh, Gilbert. We got enough troubles here without you adding made-up ones. Don't insult me. I'm a lawyer, and this is a legitimate case. I think that Mrs. Radway has the right to question the death of her husband. All right, Gilbert. I'll investigate the matter. No, sir. An official, a medical adjudicator for the Northwest Territories, will be arriving in a matter of days. And be warned, gentlemen, it could mean Marie Dumont's license.
I have concluded my examination of the deceased and find that he suffered a mild concussion and a double fracture to his left arm. Injuries that in themselves are not of sufficient severity to have caused his death. Now, Dr. Dumont, I feel it is my duty to remind you that if you are found negligent, you will not only lose your practice, but it could very well blaze the way for further charges, both civil and criminal. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider your choice of attorney? Yes, I'm sure. All right, Corporal, this hearing is in session. <clears throat> Four years ago, when Dr. Jacques Dumont passed away, this town was left without a physician. His wife, Maddie Dumont, filled that post. I doubt that there's a person in this town, except perhaps her present accuser, who could say that she did not fill it ably. To most of us, it's an insult that charges have been filed against her. It is indeed a tragedy that Carl Radway died. But filing unjust charges against Marie Dumont will not bring him back. I have no need for long-winded remarks. Marie Dumont did not do her job. And because of that, a man died. What else need be said? The problem is, other than your past record, I don't have much to defend you with. Is there anything that you might have missed when you treated Kyle? No. I treated Carol right away to the best of my ability. Jack saw that. Put him on the stand. I can't. Why not? Wouldn't look good if our witness had to say you weren't even in the room when Kyle died. Who do you have speaking on my behalf? In this whole town, you have found no one who will stand up in my defense? Not with regards to this matter, Marie. Why? Do you think I'm incompetent? Of course I don't think that. Perhaps I should have hired a real lawyer. When he came to, he was thrashing around and gasping for breath. And where was Mrs. Dumont? The doctor. She wasn't there. Wasn't there? And where was she? She was tending to the store. Oh, yes. This town's doctor is also its shopkeeper. Nothing further. What exactly happened at the Radway Ranch? Kyle fell off the ladder and broke his arm. Well, that is certainly to the point. Did you see him stumble? Did you see him lose his balance? I didn't see him fall. But you said he fell off a ladder. This is pointless. I'm trying to show that no one has any idea what actually happened at the Radway Ranch. And that Kyle Radway could have fainted. He could have had some sort of attack. Oh, yes, Corporal? Perhaps the hand of God struck him down. Corporal, I do not have the time to entertain speculation. Well, I'm much obliged to you, Clive, for making me look stupid back there. That's what you were. What? He didn't even check the scene of the accident. Look, Bennett, I was a little occupied trying to get Kyle back to Marie's. What do you expect? Well, you're not occupied now. Go and see if you can find anything that could have caused Radway to fall. Look, Bennett, I don't recall giving you the right to order me around like that. It's for Marie's sake, Jack. Are you sure, Clive? She's not going to be a friendly witness. We need something, Marie. Perhaps Carl Radway had a previous ailment or injury. We have to muddy the waters and throw some doubt on Mueller's mind. You're still sounding like you think it was my fault. I'm sounding like I want to win this for you. I'm sorry, but this is a nightmare. You ready?
How is your husband's health? Excellent. Before Marie Dumont got to him. Did he suffer from any illnesses or attacks? I told you Kyle was a healthy man. Do you have any proof? Can you show us any records from past physicians? Kyle never had much time for doctors. I used to think that was a foolish attitude. Nothing further. Do you have any questions, Mr. Gilbert? I would like to call Marie Dumont. When did you obtain your medical license? Last year. But you practiced before that time, didn't you? Yes. Without a license? The town had no one else. So you thought you would just become the doctor? Objection. I think Dumont's past record is not on trial here. Stick to the matter at hand, Mr. Gilbert. Where do you derive the bulk of your income? From your practice or from the general store? The store? I have never neglected my patients to run... Oh, please, just answer the question. He had a broken arm, a simple broken arm. I've treated hundreds of them. What did you do then? I left somebody with him. While well, you ran off to make more money. Objection! That's all right, Corporal. I'm finished. Yeah. They're nasty little creatures, weren't it? You know, I'll wager one of them got Kyle. That's what caused him to fall from the ladder. If he was stung, I would have noticed the swelling. Not necessarily, Marie. It's not what you were looking for. There are a few citations about people dying of hundreds of hornet stings. But not from a single one. You mean in all them books, there ain't nothing that can help you? What about this one? That? That was Jacques' journal. I would first like to offer up as evidence this hornet's nest and ask the court that it consider the proposition that Kyle Radway fell off the ladder as a result of a hornet sting. I will consider it, but not fully accept it. Is that all? No. I would like to read from the journals of Dr. Jacques Dumont. Will this take long? A woman's career is at stake. It'll take as long as necessary. The first entry in the journal is dated August 11th. 1878. A curious incident. After tending to the delivery of Emily Stratton's baby girl, I observed the death of Riley Armstrong, a hand at the Stratton Ranch. The best explanation for the cause of death is a single hornet sting which appears to have induced a severe bout of apoplexy, resulting in the poor man's death within the hour. I object to this, sir. What is to say the corporal did not write this journal? Oh, Mrs. Dumont. Dr. Mueller, I will show that I have supporting evidence. The next entry shows, it's on October 21st, 1878. I've written to Dr. Randall Nairn and Dr. Henry Carpenter in Helena and Lethbridge, and they both corroborate my hypothesis with reports of similar attacks. And what is not clear is how the actual poison kills its victims especially in such a low dose. Dr. Mueller, I sent a writer to Lethbridge to obtain the journals of Dr. Henry Carpenter. And in light of this new evidence, I would ask the court to re-examine the body of Kyle Radway. I object to this, Dr. Mueller. This is not evidence. This is an act of desperation. Mr. Gilbert, that is exactly what your objection sounds like. Apoplexy, false journals, insects that kill. This is nonsense. Mr. Gilbert, we learn nothing by closing our eyes. Corporal, your request is granted. Court will reconvene after completion of a further autopsy.
Dr. Lamont, please rise. We cannot find that which we do not seek, but when we know, it becomes obvious. These three stingers were found under the hairline of the deceased. This and the supporting evidence of Dr. Jacques Dumont and Dr. Carpenter are enough for me to give credence to the theory that Mr. Radway's sudden death was due to a severe reaction to a hornet sting and not your treatment. This inquiry cannot find that you acted improperly in dealing with Mr. Radway's injuries, and as such, you cannot be held responsible for his death. Thank you, Clive. You too, Jack. Hurry. Congratulations, Corporal. Thank you. Mrs. Dumont, I'll see you in the store. There are still accounts to deal with. I'll be there when I'm good and ready. Perhaps you should run the store on your own for a day or two. Who knows? Maybe you'll make a better shopkeeper than lawyer. Thank you.